Hi everyone, Richard Nijelski here for Fiddling. In this video, we'll be discussing and demonstrating the correct procedure for performing and teaching the barbell squat movement. The barbell squat is a multiple joint exercise which primarily targets and works the gluteus, quadriceps and hamstring muscles. However, it requires the whole body's involvement for both good form and a movement that does not create risk of injury. There are several varieties of squatting exercises that can be performed, including dumbbells, barbells, back squats and front squats to mention a few. Having a good understanding of the exercise and its execution will help with developing better technique for other squatting exercises. Not everyone will have the same range of movement, so it should not be expected for everyone to perform a deep squat. Whatever depth is achieved, the squat movement is still an effective exercise for developing lower body strength. If the barbell is relatively light, then the use of a squat rack may not be necessary, although it will make both starting and finishing the exercise easier to do. It's always best to perform barbell squats in a squat rack or cage, preferably one which has safety bars to rest the bar on if the person fails to come out of the squat. However, if you are required to spot a person on your own, there are several methods you may use. The preferred method we recommend at fiddling is standing behind the person with the arms under their arms, moving with the person as they squat. To set up the body position for the squat movement, stand with feet around shoulder width apart and toes slightly turned out. The bar should be placed across the trapezius muscles, just above the shoulder blades. Look forward and keeping the torso straight, engage the lower abdominals. On an in-breath, initiate the downward phase of the movement from the knees first, flexing the hips, knees and ankles evenly until the desired depth is achieved. The range of movement will determine what that depth will be. Be sure to keep the heels on the floor, chest up and eyes looking forward at the horizon. From the bottom position, push through the heels, extend the knees, hips and ankles evenly and return to the standing position, breathing out on the way up. As a personal trainer, just as important as being able to do the exercise is teaching a client how to do the exercise correctly. This will require the use of good communication skills and understanding your client's learning style. Let's now have a look at an example of demonstrating this exercise to a client. Hey Kistra, so today we're going to do the, uh, the bow bow squat. It's a compound leg exercise, works the muscles of the hips, the upper legs and also the lower legs as well. Uh, we'll go over a few safety precautions first, then I'll go through some instructions, demonstration, and then I'll get you to do it as well. Sound cool? Yeah. Brilliant. So a couple of safety things to think of first. We want to make sure that the bar is set at the correct height for you. Uh, so it's just going to be around shoulder height, maybe just a little bit lower, right? Just so you can come under it nicely, but not have to duck too much. We've then got your collars, you notice on either side. All right, so these collars are used for whenever we put weight on. So you put a plate on, you're going to put the collar on afterwards, lock it in. That there's going to lock the weight in place. All right. The last point we've got are your safety bars. All right. So these are here if you say you haven't got a spotter, you need those in case it gets too heavy for you, you can't get back up. The bar will just rest on there and you can come out underneath. So adjust those for your height as well when you get into the, into the squat rack. All right. So a few instructions with the squat. You're going to pop underneath, get your head underneath, rest the bar on your shoulders. I want you to keep your core nice and engaged through the whole movement. Keep your spine up nice and straight. You want your feet at around hip, hip width, just a little bit wider perhaps. Turn your toes out a little bit. Your knees are going to track over your toes when you go through the lower portion of your squat and then come back through to the top in a nice, nice calm movement. Sound all right? Sure. Cool. Well, I'll go through a demonstration now and then I'll get you to do it. So like I said, head underneath. Just have the bar resting on the, on the traps. All right, we're going to have the feet a little wider than shoulder width, slightly turned out. We're then going to drop your hips, keep your back up nice and straight, keep your core engaged. We're going to come down, push through to the top. All right, try and keep your back up straight. Down, nice calm movement. Push through with the hips at the top. Sound all right? All right, I'll now get you to give it a go. Jump on in. Okay, so just as we said, rest the bar on the traps, stand it nice and straight, come back slightly, good, feet slightly wider than the shoulder, keep the core engaged, back nice and straight, I want you to drop down, come to the top, good, squeeze those glutes coming through the way up, and so how's that feeling for weight? It's fine. It's fine? Good, keep your core nice and engaged. I'm going to be here as a spotter. If it gets too heavy, I'll be able to help you get up at the top. Feeling alright so far? Yeah. Cool. 
Good, let's go three more. Keep it cool, nice engaged. Let's go one more. Good. And up, break that bar up. And that's the squat, how was that? So that was an example of how to demonstrate and instruct this exercise. The principles of demonstrating and teaching this exercise can be applied to all similar exercises and movements. For some clients, there are some precautions which should be considered. Clients with lower body conditions or those with little or no experience may need to perform the movement using lighter weight or dumbbells in each hand. If the client is experiencing any pain, stop the exercise immediately and investigate. Modifications and alternatives may need to be considered for those with any contraindications. Always remember when working with a new client, never take for granted that they have a lot of experience with gym exercises. Find out as much as you can about the client and always aim to teach the client the safest possible way to performing each exercise before increasing the load.